Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have three fun Christmas trays to show you. I've done three different themes on each tray. So let's just jump right in and I'll show you what I've done on each one of them. This one, I have a hot cocoa bar going on. Let me take you around the tray and I'll show you all the different things that I put on it. The first necessity for a hot cocoa bar is obviously hot chocolate. So I've got those in a little tin right there. Then I thought this was cute from last year from the Target Dollar Spot. It was a little mug that looks like a campfire mug and it's actually a candle. So that's just more for decoration. And then down here I have three different jars, one with hot cocoa, some marshmallows, and then the little mini candy canes. You can set on the side of their mug if they would like to. And then up front I've got our cute little camper mugs. They look like little camper trailers. Those were our favorite from Target last year or the year before, I can't remember which. Then I have my wooden beads and a little sleigh as a decoration and then I have a mug full of candy canes and then snowflake napkins and then a milk carton with straws in it and then down here is just a little tea towel along with a string light set from the dollar spot and just set that in there one trick that I find to make it look cute is I wrap that little string light around my finger and make little curly cues and then wrap it within the decoration that I'm putting it on. Okay, so the next tray I have for you here is a truck tray. I love all things trucks when it comes to seasonal decorations. You can change them out for different colors and different schemes. And today I have them all in this fun little tray. So let me take you around and I'll show you how I have them displayed and where I got some of the items. The first truck that I have right here in front is one that I actually hand painted myself. I got it in a kit from a craft store down in Utah one year and I just love it. And then I have a basket with a tea towel sticking out of it and a little gift box that has trucks on it. That's just from Target, I believe. And I don't use them for gift cards. I just use it because it's super cute to decorate with. And then also from the Target Dollar Spot last year or the year before is that little packet of thank you cards or Christmas cards or whatever you want them to be. I have them all bundled up and wrapped together as a little gift just to decorate with. And then there's a little stack of napkins back behind it because this is on my table so it needs to be useful. And then I have a little jar with a little car and tree in it. I mean seriously, I just love that look, obviously. <laughs> then these two little guys on the wooden round that I have here in front of the house, they're actually salt and pepper shakers. I'm going to show you really quick. This guy actually comes out. He has a little face to him and that's the pepper. And then this one is the salt. So how cute is that? And then he just fits right back inside. Super cute. Then I have this little car and trailer. And again, they're salt and pepper shakers. That one is the salt. And then this guy is the pepper. And then I just got these houses here from the Target Dollar Spot this year. I have a little tea lights inside them. And just so you know, you can put them in there. The house does not get too hot and it's metal, so it's totally fine. So here is a cute little truck tray that I have done. And last but not least is probably my favorite. And I don't know if it's just because it's super cute or if it's because my cute little daughter Chelsea helped me do this. She's homesick today from school and had the great idea to add the wreath to the house. So I'm gonna take you around and I'll show you all the fun things that we did for this little house winter scene. All right, first and foremost are the houses and they are all from the Target Dollar Spot over the years. I have added different styles to my collection. I've got the ceramic ones and the metal ones. And I absolutely love them. So that's the most important thing, our theme here. 
And next, I just used a little wooden box to kind of add height back there. And then I did two wood rounds on this one. I wish I had had room to put more wooden rounds inside this little tray box, but I didn't. So I went ahead and just did that. And I have a cute little truck from Target, of course. And then, a, you know, Santa needs to know where to go to the North Pole. And then the next thing I did, and I've done this for a couple years in some of my scenery decorations, is I get little branches and I cut them down and I make them into little tree stumps. And then I just add a piece of greenery to them and I turn them into little trees. You can see we've added about five or six little trees to our scene. Chelsea helped me make those. And then Chelsea helped me make these cute little wreath attachments to go onto the houses. I actually just grabbed the little branches and glued them together and then added the little holly berries. And last but not least is the fake snow that we flung all over the scene just to give it that winter look. And it just added all the effect that we needed to have for it. That's it, you guys. I hope you enjoy these three different ways of how to decorate a tray for your tables, your counter, or your coffee table. Um, if you'd like to see more decoration ideas, especially for Christmas, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the little bell so you can get notified. I'm just getting started. So you're not going to want to miss out. Go ahead and subscribe and come back for more. Thank you guys. Bye.